the Spandau Mansion is one of the oldest houses in Pocatello, as well as one of the, the grandest. It was built in 1912, only several years after Pocatello was first incorporated by Judge Leland Stanrod. He moved to Pocatello from the San Francisco area where Queen Anne architecture was really popular. And his wife decided that if they were going to move to not San Francisco, then she wanted to have a house that would remind, remind her of San Francisco. The painted ladies in, in San Francisco are, are, are all Queen Anne style. Some of the the characteristics that queen, make Queen Anne unique is uh, gables that overlap each other, um, a porch that wraps more than halfway around the house. The turret is the main thing um, that then also makes the house not perpendicular to each other, not, not symmetrical, there we go, not symmetrical to each other. And when you go in the front door, there it, there's not a staircase up or down. So Judge Stanrod, when decided that he was going to build his house made of stone and they used a quarry in the income area, which meant, though, since a car was not available, that all that rock had to be hauled from McCammon, income McCammon area on horse and buggy and then be built from there. It's on the National Registry of Historic Places. And even though it's now a private residence and we can't go inside, it was at one point a museum. And on the inside, it looked like that. The picture on the left is what you see when you come in the front door. And then you see a parlor to the left. And you can see the wrought, the wrought iron looking woodwork, as well as the, the embedded floors, uh, oak floors, and then the frescoes on the ceilings, and then that staircase is what then leads you to the picture on the right, which is where the bedrooms and the skylight are. That skylight at one time opened up to the roof and it was used as a um, an air conditioning mechanism because then there could be airflow on both, on both directions. Garfield Street was the premier street at the time in, in early Pocatello history. Right across the street from the Stanrod Mansion, you'll see an, another house that is in shotgun cottage style, meaning which is a, a type of architecture that was very popular in San Francisco. Uh, the Because San Francisco, not I'm sorry, not San Francisco, New Orleans. Because New Orleans is so warm, they needed to have all the airflow possible in the days before air conditioning. So you'll notice that the, there are windows from floor to ceiling for maximum airflow. And then the idea why it was called shotgun style is because the windows line up from the front of the house to the back of the house. And theoretically, you could shoot a gun from one window to the other and not hit anything. But again, the reason was to give the maximum amount of airflow and cool down the house the most during summer months. Even though Pocatello is by no means as warm as, as um, New Orleans is, it still gets plenty hot. Look around also down the street of, of North Garfield. You'll see a couple houses that are built in Spanish Revival style and um, one more that is in, in Queen Anne. 